Hello, and welcome back to the Rose Garden. I was trying to pick a topic for today, and I had picked one, and I filmed the video, and I didn't like it, and then I decided, why don't I discuss a heavy subject? So I thought today I would talk about anxiety. Now, I have anxiety. It means I worry about a lot of things. I get little alarm bells in my head if I haven't done something or if I fear I haven't done something. And it's not fun. It's manageable. I was able to manage it just by doing coloring or going walking, but now I am on medication just because it got to a point where that wasn't helping anymore. And I've been on medicine for two months now. I've had to change it because it wasn't. The first medicine was making me too tired and it still wasn't helping me really get over the panic attacks. And this new one I'm on, I feel like it started out really well, but we're leveling to that point where I'm starting to feel anxiety again. And I'm just not sure how I feel about it. I was always afraid to be on medicine in the first place. I felt like it was a failure on my part to need it, that I wasn't strong enough without it. And I'm working with myself to feel better about this because I know it's not true. It's just in my head that it's wrong. But uh, these guys help sometimes, though sometimes they... Uh, make it worse, like when they're sick or cry in the middle of the night. And my husband helps too, even though sometimes he is the cause of it. But I'm working on it. And I don't want people to be like, oh, it's just a big deal, get over it, because it's not just something you can get over. You need to work on it. And I know a lot of people have anxiety. It's more and more common, it seems. And I know people will say, oh, it's just because of the election. I'm just some dumb liberal. But I have had these feelings all the way back to when I was a preteen. And I ha would have a friend ask me if I want to spend the night. And I would spend 10 or 20 minutes in agony because I would want to go, but then I was worried about not being home, or if I stayed home, what was I missing, and it would tear me apart. And homework would be something that always ate away at me, and I think that's why it was easier in college to skip classes, because then I didn't have to think about the work. And my anxiety got worse when I moved in with my now husband, his mother had Parkinson's and his father would have to have to be away one night a week and we would have to take care of her. And I generally did not sleep those nights because she would get up and move around. So I would just stay awake in case something happened. And the constant hearing her in the house bumping into things, it got to me. So even after she moved to a nursing home, uh, I would still hear her in the house, or I would still find myself unable to sleep. And then I started walking, didn't make it go, go away, and Pokemon Go helped with that for a while. But this past winter, we had blizzards here in North Dakota where I couldn't leave my house for days. And I don't like being stuck. I had cabin fever so bad. And then in the middle of all these blizzards, my mother-in-law passed away. She had been admitted to the hospital for pneumonia on a Monday. And we were all worried because she had already been sick. And two days later on Wednesday, on December 7th, she passed away. And it was so hard because she and I did not have a great relationship. We tried to get along, but with her Parkinson's came dementia, and that part of her, the part that no longer knew who I was, we did not get along. 
So I was in this awkward place of wanting to grieve for her being gone, but at the same time having all these negative memories of her yelling at me and saying such mean things that I know was not her. And I, I couldn't deal with it anymore. I was always on edge. I was near crying for weeks. And so finally I made the appointment. I went to the doctor and I was put on Buspar, the uh, generic of Buspirone, I think. And it just made me so tired. I could not. It was so hard to stay awake. It was so hard to function. So I got off of that kind of. I'm now on uh, the generic for Lexapro. I take that one in the morning and the abuse bar at night to help me sleep. And <clears throat> I'm doing better. I am way better than I was. But I can start feeling anxious, anxiety coming up. Be like, oh, did I finish my work? Oh, did I remember to do this? Did I remember to do that? I like to write lists and organize. Did I finish that list? Did I put everything where it's supposed to go? And I, I seem to always put others before me, so it's really easy to forget the self-care. And it's super easy when it like with my mother-in-law passing away, it wasn't really my mother, so I was there to support everyone else. And it was really easy to just shut down that part of me and be like, okay, this isn't about me. I'm going to, I'm going to help them and I'll get to me later. And then I never did. So eventually it has to come up. You have to take care of yourself. And... I'm lucky in the fact that I have my husband and my mother who I see daily and are there to talk to. I have my three cats to snuggle with when they're in the mood to. Um, I'm hoping that these videos will also be a way for me to get out what I want to do because as much as the anxiety tells me not to make this video or to not do this at all. I want to work past it. I want to knock down that wall. I want to be the better person that I've always wanted to be. So I'm hoping that this is where I'm going. That these videos or even the attempt at these videos will help me get myself moving. And I hope that Others out there who are struggling with this also find the support and the outlet they need to release any of this tension and just know that I'm here to talk to. You can leave comments or maybe I'll link to my Twitter and we can chat on there. Um, and I'm sure I'll talk about this more because it's not a one day thing. You don't just talk about it in 10 minutes and you're done. It has levels, it has triggers, it has ups and downs, and there's so much to discuss. And I hope that you'll discuss it with me. So I hope you all have a happy Tuesday, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!